First, can you go ahead and um, introduce yourself, let uh, voters and viewers know who you are. Sure. I'm Ryan Hall and I'm running for resident circuit judge here in Williamson County to replace the vacancy of Carolyn Smoot. Uh, my wife, Amber, and my son, Jacob, and I, we live southeast of Marion. So what is your current position? Currently, I'm Associate General Counsel, Southern Illinois University. Okay. So why do you want to be judge? Because this is definitely a different direction for you. It is a different direction, but uh, I, believe in, I believe in public service and I believe in uh, giving something back. Most of my career has been in service. I've been practicing law for 16 and a half years, and uh, just about every facet of my practice has been in, in some sort of service to the community or, or, or to the public or groups. And in addition to that, I, I'm committed to service in my church uh, and, and other organizations as well. So can you kind of share with us how you in particular meet the requirements for this particular office? Well, uh, in Illinois, you have to live in the circuit that you're running in, and you have to be uh, a, a sworn in and practicing attorney. I, I got both of those covered. In addition to that, though, I've been practicing for 16 and a half years, and what I think makes me the most qualified is uh, my experience, uh, breadth and depth. For 16 and a half years, I have had uh, litigation experience. I spent uh, almost eight years working for Chuck Garnotti as assistant state's attorney here in Williamson County. And as part of that uh, position, you, you are in the courtroom quickly. You're trying cases. I think it's absolutely imperative that you have judges that know how to try cases before they set foot in a courtroom in a black robe. Uh, the, the biggest problem that we have right now is that we have judges on the bench that have never tried a case to verdict prior to sitting on top of the bench. And so for eight years I tried cases. I tried criminal cases before juries, before judges. In addition to that, I've spent the remaining eight years of my practice in civil litigation, labor and employment, trying cases to administrative law judges, trying cases to arbitrators, and trying cases uh, in, in front of uh, courtrooms across southern Illinois. Now, um, integrity and um, ethical conduct are very key to this position. So how do you even hold yourself accountable? Well, uh, it, it's probably cliche, but I'd like to say that I was raised right. Uh, I have wonderful parents, and uh, my mom and dad started me out early. My mother was big on, uh, you are no better than anybody else, and nobody's ever better than you. And you're to treat everybody with integrity, treat everybody with fairness, and treat everybody with kindness. Uh, the golden rule, and, and that is something that has stuck with me. In addition to that, of course, uh, my wife and I were active in our church, uh, and uh, I, make no, I make no bones about it, nor do I hide my faith. Uh, it's something that uh, I think is important, and I think that helps to keep me uh, focused and and keep me on the on the right on the right plane so to speak. Okay, we want to talk about issues um, that are going on today. So, what are some that are, um, I guess, happening with judges in Southern Illinois in the area? So, what kind of uh, issues are we looking at here confronting judges? Well, right now we have an opioid crisis not only in Williamson County, not only in the First Circuit, but throughout rural, rural communities throughout Southern Illinois and throughout the United States of America. That is one of the biggest issues that we're trying to tackle uh, is how we address the opioid crisis. Uh, the drug court uh, is an excellent idea. I would like to bring one to Williamson County if we okay. could, see if we could uh, uh, some in some way uh, provide some sort of service so that we're not making convicted felons out of addicts. Uh, I, I, but I think that right now is, is one of the single largest issues that we're faced with. Now, can you provide an example of how judges uh, react impartially to certain situations? Well, I had the privilege of serving as an assistant state's attorney for a number of years here uh, in Williamson County, and um, Chuck Garnotti was a great mentor, but also I got to, I got to work with uh, a variety of judges and I can tell you um, without a doubt uh, learning from these judges watching them make the calls watching them make the tough calls uh, that teaches you uh, impartiality uh, John Sproni a great man who was associate circuit judge here in this county um, I never felt like I I that if, if I lost a case I always knew I lost it uh, because the facts and the law wasn't there uh, I always knew uh, if I won, I earned it. Uh, fair and impartiality, uh, these were the things that were, uh, th these, 
These are the things that are important in a judge. This man displayed it every day, uh, and, and he was a great example to learn from. So in terms of the roles here, what role does a circuit judge play when it comes to the economic things, the controlling the costs? An individual circuit judge doesn't have as much control over that as uh, one may think. Uh, the circuit judges as a whole, the presiding judge um, of the circuit and, and of the county uh, collectively have some control in, in mitigating costs uh, and, and assessing what costs are going to be. Um, but that's more of a collected effort. I guess that brings me to my next question, temperament. What kind of personality do you bring to this position? Well, my wife says I have a great personality. <laughs> uh, I bring a personality of uh, fairness, impartiality, professionalism. I also know when, when to, to take a laugh. If you were to look at uh, the uh, bar poll from the Illinois State Bar Association, uh, an individual would note that my temperament level uh, or my, my temperament score. Oh, yeah, because you are recommended I, so I'm, on this I'm, advisory poll. Well I'm, rec I'm the only candidate running in the race to replace Carolyn Smooth that is recommended uh, by the Illinois State Bar Association in the advisory poll. Uh, I scored very well uh, on temperament. I'm very proud of that score. Uh, and I think that that uh, demonstrates from it other attorneys that know me, have practiced with me, certainly know what my temperament is. Um, obviously, I think I have the right temperament for the job impartiality, fairness, um, ability to uh, analyze issues, and ability to treat everybody with respect. Speaking of um, politics, how do you keep politics out of this system, out of the system with, with what you're doing when you have to select a party affiliation? Well, that's an excellent uh, point. And you know what? It's easier to do uh, than you may think. Okay. If the citizens of Williamson County select me to be their next resident circuit judge, it's very easy to keep politics out of it because of my integrity, because of the way I was raised. I have a job to do. And as I've said throughout the county, when I knock on doors, when I give speeches, when I talk to people, I don't care what your party affiliation is. I don't care how you vote. I don't care if you voted. I don't care uh, what, uh, what theory of politics you buy into. We're all equal before the law. I don't care where you come from or how you got here. We're all equal before the law. You're going to be treated. Uh, you're going to be treated with fairness, impartiality, integrity. The first thing I'm not going to ask for if you walk into my courtroom is, "How did you vote?" It doesn't matter anymore. I'm here to do a job for the citizens of Williamson County. I don't care if they're Republicans or Democrats. I'm here to do a job for all of the people of Williamson County. All right, and as a journalist, one of the um, main things that I guess we would like to know in media, and I know that other people would like to know too who aren't in media, is the feeling about cameras in the courtroom. There are a couple of different sides to, um, to that feeling in particular, so I wanted to know how you feel about it, especially if you would be in the position. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to, I, I'm gonna, going to tell you, you probably don't want to hear it, but I don't think I would be in favor of cameras in the courtroom. Okay. I think cameras in the courtroom would serve as more of a distraction for the jury, uh, for a potential defendant, and for the parties litigating before the court. In addition to that, it runs the risk of sens sensationalizing any issue that is before the court, especially in a small market. Anything uh, can can turn into something very large, and that's not the goal or or the purpose for uh, the court system or or the judge or the litigants or the jury. Do you have any concerns about this particular position? Handling some of the issues that might come your way, some of the different temperaments that may come your way in the courtroom, because you could get some really disrespectful people walk in there that have no respect at all for the law and how things are done. I would not be so arrogant as to say that it, it is not a humbling experience to think about putting on that black robe and going out to serve your community. So certainly you ask for uh, guidance and wisdom as you go forward to do your job. As far as dealing with personalities, I've dealt with personalities for 16 and a half years. That doesn't bother me at all. Is this the first time you're running? Yes. And what made you want to run? What made you think, hey, this is, this is something I would like to do? 
uh, service to the community. And, and quite frankly, I think that it's important we have judges that know how to try cases to verdict before putting on a black robe and becoming a judge. And I think that my 16 and a half years of trying cases certainly gives me that experience and the know-how to do the job. All right, awesome. Anything else you wanted to share? I certainly appreciate you having me today, and thank you for the opportunity to come and talk to the folks of Williams County. Well, it was lovely having you and thank getting you. to know you. Thank, thank you so you. much.